Hello guys, this is Tarun from CSC department. So in this video, I would like to tell about the image processing application with fuzzy logic. First of all, what is the purpose of fuzzy logic? Fuzzy logic is an approach to variable processing that allows for multiple possible truth values to be processed to the same variable. A fuzzy logic attempts to solve problems with an open, imprecise spectrum of data and heuristics that makes it possible to obtain an array of accurate conclusions. Now getting to the topic, so fuzzy image processing is a collection of different fuzzy approaches to image processing. So in this fuzzy image processing, it is the collection of all approaches that understand, represent and process the images, their segments and features as fuzzy sets. The representation and processing depends on the selected fuzzy technique and on the problem to be solved. Fuzzy image processing consists of image fuzzification, modification of membership values, and if necessary, image defuzzification. And in the defuzzification and fuzzification steps are due to the facts that we are not possess fuzzy hardware. Therefore, the coding of image data and decoding of the results are steps that make possible to process images. With fuzzy techniques, the main power of the fuzzy image processing is in modification of membership values. After the image data are transformed from gray level plane to the membership plane, approximate fuzzy techniques modify the membership values. This can be a fuzzy clustering, a fuzzy rule-based approach, a fuzzy integration approach, and so on. There is uncertainty in many aspects of image processing. In many image processing applications, we have to use expert knowledge to overcome the difficulties like object recognition, skin analysis. Visual patterns are inherently ambiguous. Images features are corrupted and distorted by the acquisition process. Object definitions are not always scripts. Knowledge about the objects in the scene are to be described only in the vague terms. And the output of the lower level process provide wag conflicting and enormous inputs to the higher level algorithms. These problems are fuzzy in nature. The question is whether a pixel should become darker or brighter than it already is. And the question, where is the boundary between two image segments? All of these and other similar questions are examples for situations that a fuzzy approach can be more suitable way to manage the imperfection. In fact, fuzzy set theory and fuzzy logic offer us powerful tools to represent and process human knowledge in the form of fuzzy if then rules. Fuzzy image processing. Firstly, fuzzy techniques are able to manage the values and ambiguity efficiency and deal with imprecise data. Secondly, Fuzzy logic is easy to understand. Fuzzy reasoning is very simple in mathematical concept. In many image processing applications, expert knowledge is often used to work out the problems. Expert knowledge in the form of fuzzy if then rules is used with deal imprecise data in fuzzy set theory and fuzzy logic. Fuzzy method will be more suitable to manage the imperfection than the traditional way. Input of the fuzzy inference system is the original image and composed by a high pass filter, a first order edge detector filter, and a low pass filter. We can see the resultant image of the fuzzy logic. And here, image edge detection. Segmentation is the process that subdivides an image into a number of informally homogeneous regions. Each homogeneous region is a constraint part or object in the entire screen. The objects on the land part of the scene need to be approximately segmented and subsequently classified. Partitioning of an image is based on abroad changes in a gray level. The edges of the image can be extracted and linked. The region is described by the edge control that contain it. the principal areas of interest within the category or the detection of the edges of the digital image. An edge corresponds to the local intensity discontinuous of an image. 
In the real world, the discontinuous reflect rapid intensity change such as the boundary between different regions, shadow boundaries and uh, abstract changes in the like uh, surface orientation and uh, material properties. Mm, for example, uh, I just represent uh, the outline of a shape, the difference between the colors and the pattern structure. Therefore, the edges uh, can be used for boundary estimation and the segmentation in the scene under understanding. They can also be used to find corresponding points in multiple images at the same time. Same scene. For instance, the fingerprint human facial appearance and the body shape of an object are defined by the edges in the image. Fuzzy noise estimation. In this part, we want to determine whether a pixel is corrupted or not. For this, the following criteria are considered. Number one, if a pixel is severely noisy, there aren't any similar gray level value in its neighbor pixel. So the minimum gray value difference of the pixel and its eighth neighborhood pixel is large. Reversely, if minimum gray level of a difference of a pixel and its neighborhood pixel is small, one assumes that the pixel is not categorized as a noisy pixel. Hence, we use minimum gray level difference as the first parameter of a fuzzy rule basis. Difference is equal to min of f of here we can use formula uh, f of x comma y minus f of x naught comma y naught, where x naught and y naught is an eight neighborhood pixel of x comma y. And second one is if a pixel has many similar pixels in its neighborhood and one assumes that is uncorrupted, so we can use number of similar pixels to assume pixel in its neighborhood as an important parameter to realize whether the pixel is corrupted or not. For this, we need to determine the number of pixels in the each neighborhood of a given pixel that their gray level difference with central pixel is less than predefined threshold. We may exploit this number as the second parameter of our fuzzy rule based system. Now, here you can see the fuzzy image smoothing. To compute the correct in terms of delta for the processed pixel value, we use a pair of fuzzy rules for each direction. The idea behind the rules is the following uh, mentioned uh, if no edges assumed to be present in a certain direction, the crisp derivative value in the direction can and will be used to compute the correction term. The first part as like edge assumption can be realized by using the fuzzy derivative value for the second part we filtering will have distinguished between positive and negative values. We can see in this diagram therefore we define the two fuzzy membership functions positive and negative with their linear membership functions. And finally, conclusion. Uh, before that, uh, we can say some advantages uh, like uh, using fuzzy logic system. Uh, with the using uh, fuzzy logic system is very easy and understandable. The fuzzy logic system is capable of providing the most efficient solution to complex issues. The system can be modified easily to improve or alter the performance. The system helps in dealing engineering uncertainties. So finally, get into the conclusion, the fuzzy set theory has attracted more and more attention in the area of image processing because of its inherent capability of handling uncertainty. Fuzzy set theory provides with a suitable tool which can present the uncertainties arising in image processing and can model the relevant cognitive activity of the human beings. Fuzzy operators, properties, mathematics, inference rules have found more and more applications in the image segmentation. Despite the computational cost, uh, fuzzy approaches perform comparable to or better than their crisp counterparts. The more important advantages of fuzzy methodology lies in the fuzzy membership functions, provides a natural mean to the model uncertainty prevalent in an image scene. Subsequently, fuzzy logic application results can be utilized in feature extraction and object recognition phases in image processing and subsequent computer vision. Thank you.